going on everybody it is july 31st 2023 it's monday hope everybody had a good weekend i had a pretty good weekend a uh, hot weekend got a lot of uh got a lot of yard work done and uh it was it was good it was nice was not on call so that was good but uh today we went ahead and put in that micro channel evaporator coil that i diagnosed last week um went pretty smooth the crawl space was not very nice <laughs> i had a lot of water in the crawl space and i uh informed the customer of that and um and yeah hopefully they get that straightened out because i don't think a lot of guys would be as willing to go in that crawl space as i was because of the water but Eventually you just say, screw it, let's just get in there and get it done. So that's what we did. Right. Uh, Kenny's off today. Kenny's all, usually off on Mondays. I figured, um, you know, I'm not, I don't want him to work his whole summer away. You know, I work my summers away and looking back on it now, I kind of wish I hadn't. You know, when you're 16, 17 years old, you do want to get out there and you want to make money and have that type of stuff but you also got to have some summer also so uh last year when kenny worked with me um he only worked tuesday through thursday um this year he works tuesday through friday there's plenty of time for him to work his life away figured he'd at least get a three-day weekend every uh every week to at least enjoy some of his summer one thing i wanted to mention too here this coil was actually supposed to be here friday and another technician was actually supposed to put this in. So um, it didn't come in. Uh, the homeowner was, was, uh, was not happy. We did drop off some, um, uh, some window units for them to try to get them by. Um, I guess it did help. So, but uh, yeah, they were, they were pretty upset and uh, I did my best to smooth it over. But, you know, sometimes, um, sometimes it's out of your control because I, when I diagnosed that unit, I ordered the coil while I was sitting in the homeowner's driveway. For some reason, somehow, one way or another, the dealer or the man, um, a distributor did not order the coil then. We went to go do it Friday, coil never showed up. And of course we had a pissed off customer. But either way, we went back out there today to do it. So take a look. All right, as you can see here, we are flat out of charge and we're about to go into the crawl space now a lot of water in here I had to pump a lot of it out I think we're good enough to get in there now though yeah we've had a lot of rain between this morning over the weekend it rained a, a good amount um, I guess some got in the crawl space so uh, doing my best to get it pumped out we gotta get it done, guys. Sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do. So, looks like I'm getting wet this morning. <laughs> you can see a lot of wetness. There's my air handler over there. Got some, got a puddle in front of it also. So, this sucks. Right there at the top is where it was leaking, where you see those oil stains. That long oil stain there. Yep, that's where it was leaking. We're gonna pull this bad boy out. And I'm just gonna cut it here. And I'm gonna cut my 3 8 also. We're just gonna pull this whole thing out and take it up out of here. Depending on what all comes out, might just take the drain pan and, uh, drain pan and everything. Assemble it outside and then bring it back in here. All right, looks like we got all of our uh, brackets and clamps off. Try to get this out of the way. Matter of fact, I'm just going to unplug this condensate pump, get it out of the way. And this whole thing should be good to pull out it might take some finagling but it'll come out 
Look here, my blower is actually sandwiching my drain pan here. I might actually pull the blower, make my life easier. Yeah, because these look like they unwire pretty easy. Make sure I got this off. Yeah. Might make my life easier and just go ahead and take this off pull the blower yeah that was pretty easy it took me like 30 seconds and I got it out of there the heck is this not sure what that is oh you know what that was um, on these air temps you have to drill out your uh, your drain hole that's what that was right, now this thing should basically fall out of here well, maybe not that easy but it'll come out up out of here. This wouldn't be so bad if there wasn't so much water in this crawl space. Like I said before, I got out what I could. It's just locked. I kept it on the drain pan so it's easier to pull. Right here by the crawl door now. Let's get it out of here. Here's our coil here, our new coil. It actually comes with the uh, the vertical drain pan attached. We just got to put it back inside of our horizontal drain pan, which is right there. They give you this, what they call a tube kit. Basically just this. They said I needed this. I don't know why I need that, but we'll see. This here will tell us if our coil is still pressurized. It is, so that's good. All right, this is our new coil. I uh, took the kickstand off the old one because the new one does not come with a kickstand. And yeah, there you have it. Let me get this prep to go back under. I got, I got a new stub on here. I'm gonna braze this before I take it under. Hope with just one less braze in the crawl space. All right, we got the new coils set in place. I got it mocked up. I just gotta get in here and braze it. I'm gonna hook up my nitrogen so I can flow nitro while I'm brazing and I got to put the blower back um, change the filter dryer also so let's keep keep it moving all right this um this filter dryer is a little close here so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to unsweat this but I think I might just cut it back not sure what I'm gonna do here honestly <laughs> let's see well, I just went right back in the same spot this filter dryer was in. Just going to check my brazes right now. Not very pretty, but they are sealed. All right. I'm going to go ahead and move into the crawl space with the torches now. Well, I came into the crawl space trying to stay dry best I can. After three or four times in and out, you just say forget it and just get wet. So, all right, we're back underneath here. We're gonna start, uh, we're gonna braze these two, get this thing reassembled, and hopefully our crawl space work will be done. All right, we're brazed in. Looking good. Doesn't look like I have any leaks. We will do a good solid pressure test on it. So now I'm gonna slide this motor back in and, uh, and reassemble this coil. Or, um, air handler i guess the coil is already assembled <laughs> got some clips and stuff to put on these these guys here but um i'm gonna put the blower back in now and yeah go from there all right guys we got the blower back in 
got our clips in, got our brackets in. I think everything's good. We just got to put the coil on, or the coil doors on, and we'll be good. So first, before we do that though, we are going to pressure test and make sure we don't have any leaks. Okay, so we're about to pump her up right now. Going on pressure now. I fill her up to about 300. All right, we're in pretty good shape. Got the panels back on. Um, it's still sitting on the pressure test. I still got to tape up this, um, this Armaflex here. Get my tools out of here, but it looks like we're in pretty decent shape. Oh, let me plug in this pump before I forget about that. But yeah, I'm about to throw this thing on the vacuum pump. Somehow that filled up with water. <laughs> All right, we're on the vacuum pump now. Got the two hose set up. Got my micron gauge hooked up to the true suction port. We got a micro channel indoor and a micro channel out, so this vacuum should not take very long. All right, we're putting the refrigerant in now. It takes about six and a half pounds. I'm going to fill that up and then we're going to turn this thing on. I've got just about the holding charge in it. I just started it up. I'm going to let this stabilize out and then see where we're at. Alright guys, we're all done. Couldn't get the end of it. Had a homeowner out here and just respect their privacy. I, um... Yeah, I um, didn't film while they were out here, so, um, but I'm just packing up now, and uh, we'll be off, we'll be gone, on to the next one. Alright guys, we just got done with that coil, um, it went pretty smooth, uh, the homeowner is pretty upset, because like I said, that uh, coil was supposed to come in Friday, uh, manufacturer that I ordered it from did not order it when I told him to order it, when I diagnosed it. Um, not sure what happened, how the, which way the ball got dropped, but uh, either way it got dropped. And um, doesn't look bad on the manufacturer to the customer, it looks bad on us. The customer doesn't deal with the manufacturer, doesn't deal with the distributor. They deal with us, the dealer. So um, hopefully I smoothed everything over with them. Um, at the end of the day, the air conditioner is fixed and it's working, so that's good. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, yeah, I got a busy week planned. Uh, New Calgon has actually sent me their Scorpion LX15 um, UV light system. That's their low voltage one, so we'll check that out. Uh, Top Test has sent me their uh, combustible gas leak detector, their professional version, so we'll check that out also. Um, in the summertime, it's not, uh, that's not a very popular tool, um, in the summertime, but you know, we'll, we'll try it out. We'll try, we'll find something to use it on and we'll give an honest review for them. And, um, and yeah, yeah. So we got a bunch of service calls. We got some more coils to do this week. So stay tuned for all that. But all right, guys, if you haven't done so already, please give me a like and then subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys on the next one.